David Richter, congratulations on your victory 10 days ago. I wonder what you attribute it to. It was a pretty sizable win. Well, obviously our message resonated with the voters. Uh, we had very strong support in Ocean County, uh, which we expected, and uh, we absolutely outperformed in Burlington County. Um, I think there were, uh, you know, as, as everyone has noticed, it was a very negative campaign, but I think the attacks on me didn't resonate with the voters. I don't think they believe the attacks. And, and obviously with a 30 point win, uh, we could not be more happy with the, uh, with the outcome. And now you face Andy Kim in the general election. Make the case against Andy Kim for us. Well, Andy Kim won the seat two years ago. Uh, he said that he'd be a moderate voice for South Jersey in Congress. And, and frankly, he's been anything but. Uh, he votes with Nancy Pelosi 97% of the time. He's a member of the Progressive Caucus, which is the most left-wing radical arm of the House. And Andy is, is simply too liberal for the district he represents. Isn't Burlington County becoming more democratic? Yes, it has. Uh, you know, when I grew up in Burlington County, it was one of the reddest counties in the state. Uh, it's become much more democratic lately. I, I think part of that's demographics, and, and, and part of it's the candidates that have been that have been put up. Um, I think Ocean County is still one of the strongest Republican counties in the state. We saw a much higher vote count out of Ocean County in the primary, and I think that's going to continue into the general, which uh, which bodes very well for us. Andy Kim has turned into a prodigious fundraiser. He's got three and a half million dollars banked for this race. You, in the second quarter of this just passed, uh, raised $270,000. That sounds like a huge advantage for Andy Kim. Uh, yeah, no, he certainly has the money advantage, and, and that's the power of incumbency. Uh, I was focused on winning the primary, uh, and as most people expected uh, it to be a close primary and didn't know who the winner was going to be, fundraising was, was a challenge for both me and my opponent. Uh, but now that I'm the nominee, uh, we're seeing a huge uptick in the money coming into the campaign. Uh, people that didn't want to you know, fund one Republican battling against another Republican are now taking out their, their checks uh, and their pocketbooks and are uh, helping me raise the money that I need to get my message out in the general election. Are you taking out your checkbook? You loaned your campaign in the primary $600,000. Yes, I have and I will continue to. Are you running with Donald Trump? Yes, no question. I, uh, I've endorsed the president. Uh, I ran to support him in Congress during his second term, uh, which I'm convinced he will have. Uh, I spoke at his rally in Wildwood uh, earlier this year, uh, and, and absolutely I'm uh, running with and for Donald Trump. There's a lot of consternation, particularly in liberal circles, about his handling of the coronavirus crisis. How do you think he's done? I think he's done a fine job. He responded very quickly early on. Um, I think government at all levels uh, it, uh, hasn't done enough, uh, and in some cases has done too much. I've been very critical of Governor Murphy uh, and what a strong hand he's held on the uh, small business community in New Jersey, creating a lot of uncertainty, keeping them closed, I think, longer than necessary. Um, there's no question government is reactive to crises like these, and um, you know, there's more everybody could have done. I think that what Governor Murphy should have done was give uh, guidelines as to how business would operate and then let them go out and keep their employees and their customers safe. Uh, the draconian measures that he's taken have, uh, have really hurt and in some cases killed a lot of small businesses. All right, David Richter, candidate in the third congressional district, Republican. Thanks very much. Thank you, Michael, pleasure to be here.